Welcome everyone, Algody speaking, and welcome back to a video. Uh, this time, I'm with Jack, the narrator. Thank you so much for joining me, Jack. How are you doing today? Fairly well, thank you for having me, uh, Ogutti. <laughs> well, today it's a little bit different, actually. We're just going to explain how to basically get the multiplayer helper on Civilization 6 to be working for a mod. But what is the multiplayer helper, actually, uh, Jack? Uh, you're the mod owner for this one, right? Can you explain me, like, in a minute or two, like, what this is, yes. this is about? So, uh, Multiplayer Helper, or MPH for short, um, is going to help you in a couple of different ways when it comes to enjoying Multiplayer uh, with Civilization 6. Um, so, I think I would boil it down to two main features um, that probably is the most, you know, love of this mod. The first thing is that if you're playing, probably happened to you, you're enjoying your game, and then suddenly there is one of your teammates that is disconnecting mm. or you know, disthinking, yeah. and and then, you know, he, he, he managed to reconnect fairly quickly, but when he's back, the AI has taken over and everything has been moved around, and then everyone needs to reload be, and then it becomes a drama because you need to redo exactly the same war move and everything. Yeah. So this is one of the features that MPH is is fixing because when someone is going to disconnect on the game right yeah essentially the mod is going to take over and tell the ai don't do it everything is going to be frozen into place allowing the player to safely come back and then take over his unit without his unit being messed around so that's i would say feature number one that i feel is the most interesting yeah second one is uh is more of a quality of life improvement so you can essentially directly remap on a different map seed from okay. the game so yeah. you know we've seen that in you know various tournaments um the players usually have a couple of remap tokens so after mm -hmm. eight turns after ten turns you don't like your map you want to remap you vote and then it's very easy you just press the escape button to reach you know the end game menu mm -hmm. uh you can select MPH and then you can select remap mm. and you see remap like this and everyone you know restarts on a different map like like a reload be but without being a reload be. so that I would say two main features which is like directly multiplayer related um, oh, I now, get it. so it's pretty simple basically you get this mod on and then uh, you'll be able to if you disconnect not have any of your units move so you can join back and there's some stuff like uh, a command to remap if you want in the multiplayer setting. Precisely. You have a couple of other features that we are, you know, talk, going to talk about later, later on. Mm -hmm. You know, some for drafting, some are new mods. But I would say the two main features really for the casual player is preventing Rulobi through disconnect mm -hmm. and preventing Rulobi through remap. So it's literally there, you know, probably 50 minutes, sometimes 30 minutes of a game being saved. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. uh, by using the mod. I want to know exactly how to install it. So we're going to do a step-by-step -step, uh, guide here, how to get it working. Uh, we're going to assume you even add a previous version. So we're going to clear some files, I, I understand. Okay, but... yeah. And that's always the right way of doing it. I mean, um, mm. we both know that sometimes Steam is great, but sometimes Steam has some pitfalls and one of it is not being able to update regularly your mode. So. Um, it's always good as a, as a player to keep your mod folder, you know, up to date, so that yep. then you know everyone around you, especially the guys that are trying to play with you, are gonna you know be happy because they won't have to wait for you if your mod is updated. Mm, so yeah. the one thing you want to do first is to check that your mod folder uh, doesn't have like a sort of ghost mode that is still there because it can happen. It's so, okay. One way to do that is simply to go where Steam is going to install um, the modes in uh, for civilization. So I'm going to give you the, um, the, the link. Uh, it's yeah. probably going to appear in the video. Uh, and basically, obviously, I need you to go there. Uh, I'm assuming that you have done a standard install for Steam. If you at home have used a different you know uh, directory you can just basically mimic what i did and just change where you installed steam yeah i don't know if you've seen in the video but i just copy pasted this uh directory and i do have a search bar most uh, computers have a search bar nowadays i typed in there and it got right to the good spot otherwise exactly. 
uh, I'll quickly show like the full route maybe I'll go back yeah. uh, so right here you would have to go to uh, if I'm not mistaken program file program files so like my computer is an Acer you can see here so I would have to go to my Acer then program files for me it's x86 then I have to go to steam apps if I'm not mistaken steam so, uh, just steam. simply steam okay yeah steam and then steam apps then steam apps okay okay then then workshop then workshop and, and then content and then content okay and then yeah you might have different folder here but you want to use uh 28 90 70 because that's a civilization folder okay okay uh, they use uh, yeah it's a bit it's not so user friendly they use uh numbers for games and then they use numbers for modes mm. so here what you see Oguti, on your screen is mm -hmm. all the modes that you have currently uh installed oh okay. um yeah uh, and the one that is uh mph uh, i would give you uh, the directory name is this one so if you have this one which i don't believe you have and one nine okay i'm gonna check no you don't have it so one nine eight no uh no, it's no, different one. You, you don't have it. Don't so, have it. if you if you were to have this one, you yeah. want to delete it, uh, okay. because if, if you are not subscribed uh, and that folder is staying there, it means that Steam tried to unsubscribe but kind of failed. And the problem you will have mm. is that when you resub to it, Steam will not update some of the file, and this, as you know, can be a huge problem later on. So if you have this folder that's still there, delete it. If you don't have anything, you're good to go to the next step. Okay, so just to be sure, because I know for many people it's not uh, like 100% sure, but this is basically, it's called, it would be multiplayer helper, right? This 198. Yeah, one. exactly. So that's multiplayer helper. Because uh, it looks weird, right? It's just a bunch of numbers. So yeah. Yeah. It, okay. uh, here you have VBS, you have VBGs. Is it just hidden under a bunch of numbers? That's, that's okay. the way it is. Okay, okay. So, All right. okay, I don't have this, so then I'm lucky, I'm good to go, right? Okay. Yeah, you're good to go, and then you can move to the step number two, which is, you have, I mean, I'm assuming again, you're using Steam, so we're gonna do it, I'm sorry for the Epic guys, but we're doing like a Steam tutorial, mm -hmm. but now what you will have to do is that you will have to subscribe to uh, the mode on uh, Steam. Oh, okay. So, so, in order to do so, I will so you have several ways either you go directly on my profile but I will find you the direct link so it's gonna yeah, be much easier for you much easier. so now you have the link of your team and you yeah have yeah two I ways, see two ways of doing it okay okay, okay. Um, the first way is that you are directly going to download the mode through the internet using your web browser the second way of doing it is using the steam application if you have it as well which you probably have on your computer let's do both so let's start with the internet version you see oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait. so there's two ways to do it but you just have to do one of those right and yeah of course okay okay, okay. okay. What, what which whichever one you prefer okay, so the okay. first one let's do the internet version okay very easy if you have the link you click on the link i click here yeah you click okay. on it and then i click like this is okay yes this will open a web page on the steamcommunity.com website um, ah, yeah. I and see. then you can you can click basically on subscribe there. It will ask you to log in, so you are clicking login. Yeah. Yes. So everything is in French here. So I'm just gonna go back a second. Uh, here it would be subscribe if you're an English user. Sorry for this. This is in French. In French it's abonné. So I click on subscribe. Then login. In French it's se connecter here. Login. Yes. Now, okay, I'm lucky I got my password already filled in. Okay, okay. And then you see it's ticked, you have just subscribed to it. Oh, that's it? Yeah, that's it. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. So let's wrap this one up first. So then once yeah. this is done, like we're all good to go and we could go to step uh, three. Of the... Yes, okay. which is using the game in, yeah. Now, okay, so now we're, let's do the second way, okay? Okay, so we're gonna do the second way now with Steam, right, Jack? Yeah, so, so you want your Steam app. Yeah, 
Steam app. I just type in Steam in my research bar. I find it here, but I already have it open here. So I'm going here, my account, account name, password, my password. Okay, I'm logged in. So this shows right. up, it's okay. How do I yeah. find that? How do I find So that? it's very easy. You go, you click community. So that's in the top menu. Yes. Yeah. And then you click on workshop. Okay, community. Uh, it's uh, in the sub menu. Yes, okay. Exactly. So menu. I'm going to keep it here. You see the workshop community under the community tab. I click here. Okay, so you, you're in it. Then you see browse all workshops you want to type civilization 6 okay so right here browse our workshops yes is it and here i see really with the z right civilization 6 yeah and it's autofill so that's just the third yeah yeah that's one uh, okay okay and now that's the workshop for the and all the mods in c6 you can go there if you want to you know grab anything you want in that mm. case, you are going to type multiplayer in I the search menu. Here yeah. again, right? Yes, top. multiplayer. Multiplayer. This helper with a space. Multiplayer. Helper with capital letters, it doesn't matter. No, that's, that's it. It will find it already if you click it. Okay, okay. Ah, All right. first and, one. And that's the first one. Okay. So you click on it. Okay. And you can subscribe. Oh, that's pretty easy as well. Yeah. So here what you're going to see, I think it's why I like this method better. You see what's happening at the bottom of the window? <gasps> yeah. You just downloaded it. And it's important that you see that this is done because I have seen that in the past where you click on something and for some reason it doesn't download it. Could be because your antivirus is on, could be because your internet connection has shut down. If it is the case, unsub and resub and it should trigger uh, the download. Yeah, I actually just did and we just saw the bar like at the bottom here downloading. Okay, so now I got it installed. So that's good, right? Now you are set. Now what you want to, to do, and this is really the last step to be in, to be certain that you can use all the features of the mode, you will have to be sure it's activated. So what oh, you okay. want to do is to just launch Shift 6. Okay, so then I can close this page. There's no... Okay. Well, you can go, you can, you can click library and place and launch six six yeah from here click library i've got, got a bunch of games six six. yeah yeah and you can click on it you can launch it from there click play <laughs> or for the ones that you know don't use steam app you can just double click on your icon on your desktop or somewhere yeah. works very well as well that's what i usually do mm -hmm. so the game just loaded and I can mm -hmm. already tell you that it worked perfectly. And you know why? Because why? if you look at the bottom left corner, you <gasps> will see that actually MPH is already there. Ah, oh. that actually, I didn't know that. That's amazing. So we know that it's there. But if, yes. let's say I want to double check. If you want to double check, you go to additional content or contenu additionnel in French. Yeah, so it's the f one, two, three, fourth menu from the top. Yes. Yeah. Which, so is go what, which is what you use to manage your modes. Okay. Okay. So here. here. Mods. Mods. Okay. And then you. So it depends how many you have, but I always find that it's much easier if you just tick. Uh, you untick contenu officiel. You untick official content. Okay. This is this yes. box here. Yes, and then you will see all the modes you have there. Mm -hmm. And if you just go down on the list, you should see multiplayer helper core one spot your six as active. Okay. okay. So if this is our um, this deactivated mod looks like this, right? The red. Yes. And this one is deactivated, so this doesn't have an impact, but this one is activated. Yes. Okay. So here, you just want to check a couple of things. You want to check that you have only one version of multiplayer helper. If you have, if you had in the past an installation of multiplayer helper, and you just did what OBT showed you at the beginning to clear your mode folder, you should only have one. So that's one thing. Mm. If 
you are not seeing like Oguti before the MPH 1.06 at the bottom of your screen. Yeah. And you see multiplayer helper being deactivated here or disabled. Yeah. You just click to activate it and you restart your game. Okay, let's okay. do it. Let, I'm gonna uh, exemplify it. I'm gonna deactivate it manually. Yeah. Okay. So if you see it this way, multiplayer core helper. Uh, 1.0 says deactivated or deactivated in French here. Uh, we have to do this step, okay? So what's the step? Yeah. You just activate it. So you click activate. Okay. Yes. And then you go back. And you exit the game and you go, and you and you restart. And when you restart, it would be activated. Can I restart now to show it? Yeah, you click. Yeah. You can click this. Yeah. Okay. Go there. This is my normal way to restart the game. And, and then you, here it then says you, stop. So it's a, wait. We have to wait. Okay. And then you click play. Okay, yeah. play. okay, that's good. Okay, so I'm back in the game. We just we add the mode deactivated, right? In additional content, we're gonna check if it's now activated properly. So mods, and I had it deactivated before. I can unlock this to help me find it and multiplayer core helper is activated so now it's working right 100 percent yeah. working okay well thank you so much jack for this uh i we're going to record uh, maybe two more videos and uh, one's gonna be about the tournament drafting for the 4v4s another one about the new game modes because yes there are new game modes for this right jack yeah yeah there are a couple of them and I'm sure uh, it's going to be uh, helping the helper uh, in its popularity. <laughs> yeah. I, had, I, had, I had to do that. <laughs> so so stay tuned in. Uh, you're going to find the link of the description for the next two videos. Uh, we're going to show the tournament draft and this. Uh, thank you so much, Jack. My pleasure. And Take we'll see you guys soon. Be.